Uh, hello, my name is Mustafa Ismaili. I am a student at Shukurovan University, Department of Computer Engineering. Today I will introduce uh, <coughs> uh, our machine learning task. Uh, for this task, this task I use two uh, data. So let's start in first uh, data, uh, wine, uh, red wine quality. The red wine quality data has features like that. Uh, then here I just scaling up the features into zero and one values, uh, and the in in this part, uh, splitting the values target and features. Uh, after that, our task says that mm, you have to implement twofold cross validation. But the twofold cross validation is here um, for multilayer perceptrons. Uh, I use the TensorFlow Keras, uh, the architecture like here with the two uh, three layer uh, with the uh, first layer has uh, 32 uh, units uh, neurons uh, with the input shape 11 and the activation relu uh, the other layer with 32 uh, neuron with the activation functions rectify linear unit and the last uh, output is just one unit because the regression problem in the uh, with using keras uh, say uh, like that's with no activation function, just using uh, one neuron after the comp the compilation part, the uh, optimizer, I just select the stochastic gradient descent and loss function uh, mean absolute error. Uh, and here the base size is two uh, 256 with the epochs in 200. And uh, training part is done and the pre in the training part of first validation uh, first fault uh, like here uh, seems good enough uh, <coughs> at the second uh, fault it's uh, quite uh, enough again but not good uh, enough uh, but not good as the first fault and the second uh, data has some features like uh, water qualities and uh, the features like here and the possibility uh, says that if a uh, water dr drinkable or not uh, with uh, uh, saying with saying uh, <coughs> drinkable or not just zero and one values and uh, here scaling up the features into zero and one again and the splitting uh, data in the train uh, features and target values but the twofold cross validation implementation is same but the architecture also same the difference is it is input shape and uh, output uh, layers uh, because the input shape is different uh, why our feature uh, count is different and the layer uh, output layer is different because in this part, I have to make a uh, class classification, uh, the binary classification. In the compilation part, as a uh, appropriate for binary classification, loss function is binary cost entropy. Also, a uh, metric is binary accuracy. And here, same uh, training uh, parameters uh, as before, and the training is done. When training is done, uh, the graphics like here in the first fold and the second fold, and the classification uh, accuracies is not uh, good enough for a classification uh, uh, problem because the uh, validation binary accuracy is just. Uh, how can I say? 0 0.61 uh, uh, that's not enough but in the uh, <coughs> regression part the uh, validation loss is uh, so close to 0 0.5 it's so acceptable but not uh, for the <coughs> classification problem uh, the interpretation is the all uh, a model is not appropriate uh, for all uh, problems so uh, all problems need a unique uh, or different uh, models requires uh, the problems or data requires that so thank you for listening to me